Hello. This mini lecture is about uh, coordinates, um, inversing, finding coordinates from uh, a known point, or inversing, finding the bearing and the distance between two known or given coordinates. Um, this is all based upon plane surveying. And we use the north to south, east, west compass to, uh, to determine direction of lines in, uh, in properties, in boundaries of properties. Um, often we are using a coordinate system of just something uh, generic like 5,000 north and 10,000 in the east and we would progress around and we'll try to do a little example of that. Um, bearings of course are measured either from the north or from the south to the direction of the line. So in this example we have a southeast bearing of uh, 40 degrees. So the 40 degree angle is measured from the south. A lot of people make a mistake, particularly engineers or people who have been uh, around math class, they try to always reference um, this angle off of east and I'm just saying that's wrong. Uh, at least it's not what we do in properties and in bearings. Bearings are measured from the south or from the north to the direction every time, all the time. So uh, to find a coordinate of another point, we have A, we'll find a coordinate of B. Uh, what we're doing is simply solving this triangle. Uh, here we're given 350 feet at 40 degrees southeast. So we're going to break this into components and we're simply going to find the change in north and the change in east, the delta north and the delta east. Um, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse if you want to think trigonometry or uh, usually it's just best to try to memorize uh, that the change in north is the cosine of the bearing multiplied by the distance and that the easting or the change in easting is the sine of the bearing times the distance. So uh, we can do that real quick. You should be able to um, do this on your calculator. Um, particularly when we get into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, if we add minutes and seconds onto this that becomes a little bit more uh, difficult on some calculators so I, I particularly like this one. But uh, uh, We'd simply take cosine of 40, make sure that you're in degrees, <laughs> cosine of 40, and multiply it by our 350 feet. So in this example, uh, we're at 268, 1, 1, uh, I'll call that 6. Now here starts the difficulty. Um, using a bearing system, using the bearings, you have to think about and know that your delta north is down or, or negative. So you are going southward, you are going negative. So you have to manually insert that negative sign to know that you're going south. And if I take 40 sine and times 350, I come up with a uh, 224, 976. So what this tells me is that I'm going positive. Is that the case? Yes. So we increase, uh, we increase in the easting positively and negative in the west. North is positively. South is negative. So you have to think about that as you as you go. So now. Um, if we're starting at 5,000 in the north and we are going down 268116, uh, B's coordinate then is 4731884. Okay, so I took 5,000 and subtracted 268116 to come up with B. And um, the northing, excuse me, the easting then is as simple as taking 10,000 and we're going positively, so we're going to add 224, 976, or 10, 2, 2, 4, 9, 7, 6. 
So this is our now our coordinate of point B. Let's do one more and continue on. So if we were going to C, and a lot of times you may not have uh, the picture. So if we're going from B to C, we might say that we're going, uh, we'll make one up here. Um, let's go, uh, let's go south um, 68 degrees, 19 minutes and 30 seconds west. And let's go 406, 22. Typically in bearings on property, um, they are going to be measured out to the nearest seconds and they're going to be measured in distance to the nearest hundredth of a foot, uh, particularly in modern measurements or current measurement systems, uh, seconds and hundredths of a foot is about the right precision level. So we could, without benefit of the picture, we could just kind of go through it or we could make a, a quick diagram recognizing that this is the 68 degrees and some change. Let me move that up just a dot. Uh, recognizing that that is the uh, 68 degrees and some change and our distance is 406 feet along that. So we're looking literally for um, again the delta north which is going to be down and the delta west, uh, easting is going to be a negative. So both of these are going to be in the negatives. So again, we can just kind of use these equations to get what we need. I don't know why that's so bright. Um, put this over here. Pick some of the glare off. Um, so we can simply take then, um, they say 40, uh, 68, 68 degrees, 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Take the cosine, multiply it by 406.22, and we come up with 150 033. And again, we have to know that we're going south, and we put the negative in. Uh, we would do the same thing, and you should follow along with me or try this one. We would do um, 68, 19, uh, 30, take the sine, multiply um, 406.22, and our delta east is 377.498. I usually go three decimal places. If I'm working in two, two decimal places, I usually carry the third one just for an extra level of precision. Now again, I'm going south and west, so I have to manually insert that negative. So now, uh, the coordinate of C is uh, 4731884, B's coordinate, and we have to subtract 150.033, or 4581851. Um, in the northing, and our easting then was 10, 2, 2, 4, 9, 7, 6, subtract 3, 7, 7, 4, 98, And then that would become the easting of point C. All right, I'm going to let you try one more. Um, let's go C to D. Um, let's make this north um, 3 degrees, 17 minutes, and 12 seconds west. And uh, let's go 651.83. And see if you can come up with the coordinates of D. I'm going to pause the recording and you do the same thing and then we'll come back and see what the answers. Okay, so I took a couple of minutes, took the cosine, uh, time 651, got the delta north, 
Added it to the previous northing, got the new northing. Uh, took uh, 317.12, took the sine of that times 651.83. Um, I've got to remember that that's a west, that's going to become a negative. And I would subtract that then from 98.47, come up with 98.10.07 for uh, the easting of coordinate D. So that's how we do the forward. Um, I'm going to pause the uh, stop the video, and uh, yet yeah, we'll we'll pick up from this point.